Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the newest Borderline Settlers video. Brian is back again. And today we're going to be going on a little, little uh, pickup. Um, so, saw on Facebook, somebody had uh, powerful books, to 20, about $25 a piece. And I looked at those and I messaged them and we agreed to get, he agreed to sell me four pallets for $80. So, I'm going to head out there tomorrow and we're gonna go pick up a truck and go out that way and scoop all the pallets up. And then we'll be back here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to that because I don't wanna take up too much time in the video going in this section. So we're just gonna cut right away to when I get the books, uh, unless I can film. If I end up filming, you know, the um, transaction and the process of getting the books in the truck, I will. If I don't, I don't. Uh, it's just gonna depend on the how everything goes. So see y'all. See y'all in a moment. I wasn't kidding about getting all these books. It wasn't a joke. I really did it. The question is, the question is, is it going to be worth it? We don't know yet. We're going to cut away from this because I'm going to get all this stuff boxed up and put it in the house. And then I got to cut away so I can explain to y'all the terrible, annoying situation I was put in by U-Haul and how it really inconvenienced me and almost prevented this buy from happening, so... We're gonna get into that and then get into the bias, so. Holy cow, this video is like all over the place right now. So, I had filmed days ago, like on a Saturday, when I was expected to go pick this thing up. Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong that could go wrong. It took me, it was another five days before I was able to actually do this purchase. And then it was so late, I couldn't film everything. So, I just had to get the books inside the house. I didn't want pallets of books in my carport. It's Louisiana. It can rain every second of every day. The weather's terrible. Crazy terrible down here. So, this video is just kind of like filmed all over the place. So, I'm just trying to keep up with it. But, I'm about to just get into telling you all about this purchase. And how excited I am to try this kind of experiment. Because, look at this. Look at the amount of boxes of books holy cow um there's 15 boxes here from walmart 22 by 18 by 18 sized large boxes from walmart oh my goodness then they're all packed at the brim like they're all packed as high as you can pack them just to get everything we can inside the house i mean just there's no there's nothing, I mean, it's just, it's so many books. It's, it's going to be a while before I get through everything. But this is just a really, really cool idea I wanted to try. A real fun experiment. So, you know, maybe you might see something like this in your area. You might want to try it out if you if you think the work, the work is worth it. But, man, it's a lot. And I had some people helping me. And um, names won't be named, but somebody lost their phone in one of these boxes. So eventually I gotta find their phone out this box today because their phone was on silent and I guess they put it in one of these boxes because I found find my iPhone said this stuff was at the house still and it's nowhere else in the house so it has to be in one of the boxes by accident. So that's gonna be fun searching for that. So thanks, appreciate you, you know who you are. All right, so before I end this video, I just kind of wanted to talk about how this purchase almost didn't happen. So, yeah, this video is all over the place. It's been filmed over the last week and a half or so just because it's been kind of crazy and I've been really busy. But U-Haul essentially made this purchase, this deal almost not happen for me because they kind of just made everything go wrong. So what went down was I had reserved the U-Haul for that Saturday at 12 o'clock. I showed up. Reservation was not showing up. It wasn't showing up in the systems at all. It was not, you know, present. So it left me in a position where I just didn't have a reservation. I don't know how it happened, but it wasn't showing up for them. So that kind of put me in a pickle. Uh, and I just went, I went back online and I reserved another U-Haul. A bigger one, uh, I think it was the 17-footer, no, 15-footer, 
something like that. I reserved one of those at a different facility, closer to, closer to where the guy was at, further from my house, closer to where the guy was. Uh, I reserved that U-Haul for four o'clock today, and I, I let him know. I said, "Hey, do you mind like waiting, and we can just meet up at like four o'clock or like four thirty? You know, the U-Haul screwed me. Um, let's meet at like four thirty uh, if you don't mind, and uh, I'll make, I'll try to get the other U-Haul about." For that time so he said cool and I had all my people waiting for it and it rolls around time for four o'clock and I show up to the U-Haul facility and the truck I reserved is not present it's not there it wasn't dropped off yet and they call the people that have it at the time who are supposed to bring it back at four o'clock and those customers told the guy at the desk that they let them know, oh, we were told we had it till 5 o'clock. The system say 4. They were told 5, supposedly. I have no idea if that was really true or not. Regardless, though, I was getting mad because this is the second time I was put in this predicament. So I had to tell the guy that they don't have the truck yet. And it was kind of like really, it looks really bad on my part because this is like the second time I'm basically flaking on this guy because... Of U-Haul, so I, I they said you know the, the cust they told the customer to bring it back ASAP. Well, the customer didn't bring it back at five like they were supposed to. Keep in mind, right? Like I can't just you can't just it's it was the end of the month on a on a weekend. You can't just get a U-Haul the minute you need it. Like you have to reserve it because there's just it's a lot of usage going on at that time of the month, and it it became a predicament because. You know, I had reserved it for 4 o'clock, and I don't know what went wrong on the other people's end, but it became a predicament because I was like, okay, I gave the U-Haul people the benefit of the doubt, and I said, okay, the, you know, call me when it gets here. Like, call me when y'all get the truck. So I left. I went to Target and did some stuff, and I came back at around 5, 5.05 5 or so, and I was like, truck here yet? They said no. And then the people weren't answering their phone when they were calling them about why the truck wasn't brought back yet. People weren't answering the phone. So it, it made it more of a predicament. And they, they, they finally answered and they said, oh, we'll be, we'll be there, you know, about about uh, 15 minutes. That's going to be 530. 5, 530. I was waiting for a truck for an hour and a half from these people. And... Uh, I had to let the guy know. I said, "Look, this is what the situation is. If you can't, if you need to, you know, if you can't wait anymore, I understand." He he said that he couldn't. He had to go home to his his you know his uh his wife and his you know infant daughter and I or you know infant yeah infant daughter, and I understood that. I get it. I got it. I wasn't mad at the guy. I was sorry to the guy. I was apologizing to him. And let me just say, this dude was completely cool in this whole situation. Like he was completely cool. And understanding with the fact that U-Haul is just being like garbage at this point. Because I look in the parking lot and there's like 30 trucks out there. But they can't just give me one of them. They can't apparently. I don't know if they're all broken or what. But there's it's annoying that I had to waste a whole Saturday for that. And possibly lose on a wholesale because of U-Haul. And I guess the customers too. The customers were at fault. But... There's, there's no way for me to know whether or not the U-Haul employee told them five or the customers were lying. There's no way for me to know that because I didn't stick around to find out. I, I had to go inside and I canceled the reservation and I left because I wasted a whole day already and I was very mad. And then I messaged the guy on Tuesday and I was seeing if we can do it on that Thursday. He agreed and I reserved the truck for uh, right after I got off of work and then I reserved the pallet jack. I picked both of them up, went and picked everything up and it went pretty smoothly. Smooth it went better than I thought it would with getting them into the U-Haul and getting it to my house. But due to the fact that we were on a time constraint on when I had to bring the truck back and due to the fact that we were pressed for time, it was getting late, I was just trying to get it done that I wasn't, I didn't film any of me picking it up or bring or dropping it off at the house or any of that so i wasn't really worried about all that i was just trying to get the stuff to my house and get my co-worker home to his house because he spent time out of his day to help me get that done yeah essentially um be very careful if you're going to do some pallet purchases 
be careful about how you're going to pick them up. Be just make you know maybe try to have a backup plan in case your your plan A falls through, so you don't lose out on a purchase that you're trying to do. Just try to be cautious. Is all I'm saying. Learn from my experience to be a little more cautious with it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below whether you have done this kind of purchase, whether you would have went with U-Haul or did some other company or some other type of service. Let me know what your ideas were. If you would have done this purchase, would you have even bought the books? Would you have even you know gone back after the first failed attempt? Just let me know. Let's have a conversation in the in the comments down below. And make sure y'all click right here if y'all want to check out the most recent video and if you want to hit the, you know, subscribe to the channel. See y'all next time.